Hey, this is Ree Morgan from T3.com and today we bring you news of more of a refresh than a revamp and yes, it is the new Nintendo DSi, the upgraded from this old one which is the Nintendo DS. So as we said, it's more of a refresh rather than a revamp. So first look, they look pretty similar but the new thinner DSi is 2.6mm thinner and also flip it open and the screen here is actually 3.25 inches in size so adding 0.25 of an inch to its bigger brother. The new DSi has also had a brand new lick of paint. This one comes in a matte finish compared to its older brother's glossier finish. So if you open your old DS and feel the inside, that's how the new DSi feels. But apart from aesthetics, the main feature that's been added to the DSi is the addition of two brand new cameras. One on the outside and the other on the inside. Both cameras are only 0.3 megapixels in size, but as most of the UK male population would have us believe, it's not the size that matters, it's what you do with it. And both cameras in this DSi do a heck of a lot. So you get into the camera, kind of click on here, and then you can choose to use either the inner camera or the outer camera by using the B button to flip between each. And then you can also, as you get in here, add new borders to your pictures, you can add a Mario moustache to your pictures, you can even add flowers, stars, anything to your pictures. It's very Japanese, but there's something quite nice about it. Once you're done creating your David Bailey-esque masterpiece, you can send it to your mates via the inbuilt Wi-Fi on the DSi. Now, the inbuilt Wi-Fi on the DSi has had an upgrade, and Nintendo have been offering what they're calling the DSi browser. What this new DSL browser will do is let you download stuff much quicker, scoop around the internet much quicker, and basically improve your experience on the web compared to the old DS. Another function that Nintendo have added to their DSi to make it more than just a run-of-the-mill games console is the addition of a DSi music function. Now what this allows you to do is use the mic that was already on the DS, on the new DSi, and record your voice and you can say anything that you want to say. But it's not just recording sounds as the DSi can do, you can change the pitch, you can change the speed of anything you do, and again, you can upload it to all your mates via the Wi-Fi. But the media playback isn't just for you to try your greatest Joe Pasquale impression, it also is compatible with iTunes, so it'll play all your AAC format tunes. So we ask, what's the bad news with this DSi? There must be something, and Game Boy lovers, unfortunately it concerns you. You can no longer play Game Boy games on the DSi. They've added the Game Boy camera, but they've taken away the games. Having said that, the Nintendo DSi is a delicious slice of Japanese tech. If you do already own a Nintendo DS, there's not much point going out and buying this one for an extra 100 quid. But if you are toying with going into the handheld gaming market, then the additions that Nintendo have done may tip the balance in their favour.